Ciao. Hey there. So we are excited. So um, we love diving in Universal Yum's boxes. Actually, we love it so much that it's our one year, year anniversary. We have been doing Universal Yum's for a whole year. Wow. 12 whole months. 12 whole months. Awesome box. It's been amazing. It's really been so fun. Um, um, we've learned a lot of things. Um, these booklets are so informal or informational. <laughs> um, yeah. We've learned like things like the a lot of uh, Spanish influence on it, and also batteries were invented in Italy. So I didn't know Italy. that. So. So, so many. So yeah, we've been around a lot, and we're gonna keep going. So um, this month we've got so Italy. Many good yums. So many good and yums. Uh, before we get in here, of course, I have okay. So I have had so many um, comments from you guys. You guys have really, really been commenting on these videos, and I'm so stoked. I'm so glad. Thank you. Um, of course, you know. Hello, hey there. Um, you know, we got um, shout outs and Tiffany, hey there. So um, my shout out this, uh, this video, um, I just kind of randomly, I honestly just kind of randomly go through it. And this person commented and it was J slash 14. So. Wow! We're all part of the YouTube community, and we know you do some of the box openings too. So good job, yes. Slash fourteen. Yes, really. I really like watching the videos. So and over keep the posting your videos, everybody. Months, you know, Universal Yums has changed. You know, it used to be the flag. I guess even before that, it was totally different. The papers before that, and our first month getting it was a notification about. The Super Yum's box coming up. So we joined right before. That's really good. This is really fun. So let's let's get in here. All right. Let's do this. So um, let's uh, what do you want to do? Go on and pick some. Do you want to go in a row or do you want to just let's go in a row? Cause I'll get lost. We're gonna do. Oh no. Okay. Correction. He's going to do. Hi. Hey. He's going to do this one. Um, where are you? Yeah. There we go. We've got truffle chips. And we know I don't do mushrooms. All you, buddy. All you. No, thank you. I'll do the honor. So he'll tell us how it is. No, it ain't no... Show what it looks like. Mushroom, like that. What does it smell like? What does it look like? What does it smell like? It looks like a chip. I don't know. I mean, as far as smell goes, it's not like... <laughs> okay, in the bag it does smell a little funky. Oh. Fungusy? Taste is very strong. Mushroom? Like, it's mushroom. Well, it's gluten-free, so, you know. It is Italy! Yes. I mean, sunflower seed oil, salt, black trumpet mushroom. So, yeah, straight up mushroom. Yeah. So I'm glad that's out the way. Do you guys like mushroom? If you like mushroom, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'm just an oddball, but I'm sorry, I can't. They creep me out. I can't even look at a mushroom. Like, a mushroom growing... Anyway, so we've discussed this enough. I don't know Let's if it's keep just going. Flower seed oil, but these are. Got oh yeah, and products. you know, if you're Seriously wondering products. where the banner yeah, yeah, came yeah. from, check out my other video about oh, yeah. Vista Print. Thought we should address that too. Look at this. It seems awesome. So. Three by one point seven. What do we have next? All right, so he's got to eat some stuff. I'm ready to dig in. Next, we have. Chocolate covered cake with coffee and custard, which is tiramisu. Look at that. So we have had tiramisu before. 
Um, recently, too, and... Become part of the dish. Look, lady fingers opening the box. Sorry, you guys. We're going live, and I cannot edit his, his jokes. So bear with us. <laughs> so, um, oh, hi, everybody. Welcome. You came for the good timing because we are digging in here. We got our Yum's box today. Oh, yeah. You got your box yesterday. I can't wait to see your video. I really like watching your video. So keep it up. I really do like that. And it's good to have someone to talk about yeah, his on, reviews. On the fries, yes. I think it was the fries. Um, yeah, I just watched that today about the Taco Bell fries. Yeah. Those are pretty good. Nacho Bell Grande Nacho Fries. Um, okay, do you want to break this for them? Chocolate covered cake. With I like coffee, so I'm fine with that. How does it smell? You can smell the coffee. All right, I'm doing it. I don't smell coffee. Does not coffee do? <laughs> no. I just like, I like it better than I guess actual tiramisu because that cocoa powder on top. Tiramisu is a bit more soggier because it has the coffee. Like, it's good. It's okay. Dark roast. Do you get much coffee? I don't know. I guess you taste it. It just tastes good to me. I mean, if you didn't tell me it was from Italy and you just gave it to me, like, what kind of Debbie cake is it? <laughs> it does. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I'm trying to wrap my head around. Like, what little Debbie does it taste like? Even foreign junk food to America. But, um... But you know junk food. <laughs> okay. It was really good. I definitely... It's, um, tiramisu. So it's a cake and usually has lady fingers and um, it's uh, soaked in um, chocolate, oh. um, coffee. I actually watched them make it on the Great British Bake Off. They did dip it in chocolate. So um, that's cool to watch too, to watch them make. You know, shout out to my show. You guys know I like Great British Bake Off. So I learned a lot from there and it has helped me with things from these boxes. Some of these things that I, <laughs> some of these things that um, I've been trying, I kind of seen some of them made, so I have a little pre knowledge of things that I'm learning. So, not only good to eat, but very uh, educational. So, let's go on next. Now, this one was a sneak peek fuzz because they kind of look like Cheerios. Yeah. So, go on and do your thing. This is, um, excuse me if I butcher any Italian words. I apologize in advance. Um, Terralini. And this is a lemon pepper flavored wheat snack. Tender wheat flour. Okay. So it's a mixture between a breadstick, a cracker, and a pretzel. I hope it don't taste like a pretzel, but let's try it. When putting this box together, we tried rosemary, coffee, and fennel seed. But this one was the best one that they um, found, so they put this one in the box. So this one won. This is the champion. Hey, oh, they're big. I really thought they were going to be small. They're kind of... They're like little different shapes. I kind of like them. <laughs> I like the texture of them. I think it's a sunflower seed oil. Something about that sunflower oil. Feels it is nice. so different. Makes it nice. is so different and it's kind of hard to describe. Ooh, okay. I guess that just kicked in. It's not like a sharp lemon. That's like an essential type thing. It's like a, it's like a, I hate to say it, it's like a Girl Scout cookie lemon. But it's good. What do you rate it? So we can dig in his next bag. I'll give it a 
kind of six out of ten. It's very different. And bagely. And it has a pepper. The pepper is actually coming out stronger than the lemon, so. Yeah. You need to drink for this. You actually fill it, start burning your tongue a little bit. But I ate like. But. It's kind of cereal like at the same time. Kind of reminds me of Fruit Loops, but not sweet, but savory. I give it an 8. I think it was really good. And that's why. Alright, so next we have here. Here you go. We have um, crispy almond cookies. These are almoret, almoretti cookies. So, um, hmm. tell a little story here. Not gonna read all this stuff to you because if you want to know all these interesting facts, you gotta get your own Universal Young. And no, this is not a sponsored video. Pay for my Sorry, box. Oh. Boom! <laughs> It's so good. Um, so obviously almonds. Smells like in um, oh, Almoretto. Oh, well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and um, sometimes it's just hard to to tell you guys. It's like this, but. It's not because it tastes like this, but it's softer. It's it's a mess, but <laughs> but it's really great. So it smells sweet. It's just suitable for vegetarians, but man, this thing will definitely put your teeth to the test. It's it's a dry cookie. If you like marzipan, if you like almonds. And if you like some Di Sirona Amaretto, if you like Amaretto, you're going to like this because that's the flavor that I'm getting. So it's nutty and it's sweet. Do you like it? It's okay. First What's your rating? Well, I'll give it a 7 since it does have some flavor. That's a nice punch. Wow! Oh! I give it a nine. I love it. That's yeah, there's def yeah, there's definitely been some interesting savory things up here. Like sesame. And yeah, the sesame. I just found a box of like the sesame cookies, and I was like, yeah. Philippines was fun. Polvorone from um the Philippines. And that started me on a whole nother thing because I even made some from home. I looked up the recipe and I made some batch. I out to share with my friends because I'm just like, the people need to try this. So there's a little story behind this bad boy. This is a milk chocolate with hazelnut candy bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a Brazil box. Oh. I remember, I think I had the ketchup mustard puff popcorn pieces in it we have the books here we could totally look it up but i'm pretty yeah. sure that that was in there because that was it was good i was scared because i don't like mustard yeah okay <laughs> i don't like mustard. this bad boy melted i mean melted i mean when i took this out of the box i thought they included another drink <laughs> i thought they included like a powder drink like last month because I can literally just push my fingers through this bag. So I'm going to open this, but I'm going to warn you, it is not going to be pretty. I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's probably just well, taking the, the form bar. of... Um, to a candy bar. <laughs> I don't know. It took the form of whatever shape it laid on my fridge. So The candy bar now. I'll let you do that. It says, Italy is nuts about nuts. Not just any nuts, Italian hazelnuts. Particularly the ones grown in Piedmont. So we're not sure what it was supposed to look like. <laughs> not like that. I don't know if it was supposed to have a logo on it, but well, it, it, it was hot. So let me get one of those pieces. This gigantic one. 
Very it melts quick. It's, it's not chalkiness to it. Mm-hmm. Very smooth. Mm. <coughs> Is it better than Hershey's? Maybe. Mm-hmm. We'll have to see who costs. Them. I can't give anything <laughs> to um, compare it to. I'm trying to think, but it's really good Maybe chocolate. Like Symphony Bar or something. I haven't had that. Okay, we'll put that to the side. That is definitely getting eaten. That's gone. Just consider that gone. It's done. Seen it for the last time. I'm sorry you had to see it how you saw it, but it tastes good. So who cares what it looks like sometimes? All right, let's move on. It's Florida. Um, there's so much because you know we got we got the super yums, which is the biggest you can get. There's this the they come yum, out yum, yum, super yum. Where's we're looking for lemon chips or cookies. Lemon cookies. You know what they look like? They kind of look like melon, like the melon cookies from like Japan. Let's see if there's any any info we want to share with our friends. So these are lemon cookies, self-explanatory. Um, they look good. They look pretty buttery. All lemon. Yes, the lemon wafers won for the most, um, best, the best yum, but I, I, I like the other it's wafer so a lot better. Yeah, they do smell good. It's almost like a more of I liked the, um, oh, what were the names? There was a bilberry. And there was a... Oh, it's super fun. It's like a soda crack or something. <laughs> that crumbled right up. See, if, if I was doing this um, in regular, we could have tried to do that in slow-mo and, and show it. Which one was the blueberry? No, it was a bilberry, which was something close to a blueberry. And then there oh, was yeah. a cassius or... Um, okay, let me try this. I'm going to look it up. I mean, if it wasn't for Universal Yum, I would never have current. I'm like, what's current? It was Science. there was a black current one. Yeah. And the Billberry. I gotta find Billberry. Oh. Which is that blueberry? And a Billberry. Unless it's their version. I hope it's in blueberry. focus. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, these are all, all out of order. All right. Those are really good. Um, I always suggest don't eat one. Just take two and just call it a day. Just really good. Mmm. Okay. Biscotti. Biscotti. So I think um do any justice. Drawing back to my um Great British Bake Off, biscotti means twice baked. Is that correct? I think so. Biscotti means twice baked because you bake the biscotti because they made it on the shelf. See? You bake the biscotti and then you, you gotta take it out and then you have to cut it into its unique slices, the traditional slices. And then you bake them again. And you want them to get, that's how they get that snap. So, they're supposed to be pretty crispy. And the taste on this lemon is perfect. It's um buttery and lemony. It does leave kind of like a greasy film in your mouth, though. Maybe it's Did the we? olive oil. I don't know what they put in Well, I rate this a nine because it's very close to perfect. I, I think we got two bags of these. Yeah, we'll just put them in the pot. That's not going to last. That is not going to last. It's gone. Say bye. Say, it was fun while we lasted. One to share and one for me. No. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> They're already gone. But we're going to share because that's that's what we do. Um, Next, we're going to have rosemary crackers. You want to look for the rosemary crackers? Um, I'm so glad Universal Yums um, 
Oh yeah, the white chocolate rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb. That was really good, but it threw me off because it was like freeze dried pieces, so it was a little tangy. Uh, you know they're gonna be good. I mean, look at that packaging; it's so small. I'm glad Universal Yums includes like small the things. the name in Italian, but it also tells me in English what it is because I would be butchering the Italian language right now if I had to read the top part. Plus to show. Mm. Plus to show. Um, these are uh, crispy herb flavored crackers, rosemary. It's uh, known to bust that out. Sounds pretty beneficial. We can't make promises based on one cracker, but we suggest you devour the whole bag just to oh, be the smell safe. Weird. Well, I'm not sniffing it after weird. seeing him do that. Your nose is weird. Oh, like that? She does this one. Oh. Let's, let's be, let's mm. be polite. You gotta take two. You gotta just mm. take two of these things. They're like graham crackers, but very savory. The smell of it hits you stronger. Like, you would think you would have pieces of rosemary in your teeth, but it's not like that. It's a good blend. That'll get an eight for me. He's probably going to eat all those. I think he likes those. What's your score? I'll give it a nine. It's, it's all about the texture. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's get a drink so we can talk. So, um, tiramisu cake looks delicious. It was pretty good. Um, I just, I, the tiramisu that I had last time had way more coffee flavor to it. I have to say I had way more coffee flavor. But as far as a cake, it was really good. It was really good. I'm not complaining. So, maybe really if you don't like coffee... Maybe if you're one of the people who don't like coffee and you don't want to eat that, I would probably try one of those from that brand because it wasn't very coffee-like. So, um, I don't know what this looks like either. Okay, you know what? Um, it got a little ugly, but it's hot outside. What? Still squares. They're, yeah, they're still squares. They, they um, they're in that form. <laughs> Saffron. Check that out. All right, let's let's eat it. Break the pieces. Gluten free, so you know Italy's about you know helping out the vegans and vegetarians and you know just trying to be overall healthy over there. Yeah, especially with all that rosemary, boosting immune systems and all. Um, I like white chocolate. Free. I like white chocolate. Ooh, I just started. I tried uh, white chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, wow. I'm not big on Reese's Peanut Butter Cups because it's too much peanut butter for me. But, woo, this smells quick. I got to do this quick. Yeah. Quick shout out to that. It smells like in person. So, yeah. Okay. I taste the white chocolate. But the saffron. I smell it. Okay, open your mouth when you do it. That's how you get the saffron. You gotta like air your mouth. It's so hard. To, I'll give it an eight. Um. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how to describe it. It's. It's. It's I sweet. Like chocolate. It's sweet and aromatic when you open your mouth. The so. after flavor, after taste. Now I'm starting to get non-white chocolate. So, all right, let's let's move along. We got a lot to go, so we're gonna speed this up a bit, you guys. We're gonna speed this up. Go on. That's what we're gonna do next. We've got the That's pesto. Cool. Ah, okay. So pesto, pesto flavored prosciutto. Maybe it'll go good with some hummus. Yes, oh, we've hummus. recently gotten some hummus. 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 Hmm. 
with the bottle of bubbly. Yes. What do they smell like? Like herbs. Like yes, this. with the pita chips. Oh yeah. Marinated. Yeah. I don't know. Just sea salt pita chips and um. Okay. Well, um. What do you What do you get in here? I'm scared to eat this piece. I don't know about the taste. Like I thought. Pesto. It's dry. It's bread. It's like little toast. Imagine someone made you some. Like they threw stuff in it, but it didn't flavor. Not enough to flavor it. I don't know. That's not my favorite. It was I'll eat it. Hummus. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat it. You know what? You're gonna need to put that with something. Yeah. Does it say that it comes with anything? I guess that's why it's so dry. Then um, you drizzle a bit of olive oil on top of it, pour a glass of wine, and there you have it. Well, if I'd have read this before, I would have known that I was supposed to have some wine with this. But don't worry, we'll do that in the future. Um, give it a rating. I forgot what I said my rating was, but it's, it's it going to be four. like a four. Yeah, I'll give it a four. Yeah. One for being made. Two it's just savory. Um making it here it's our you know yum anniversary but there's been times after the video where um we tasted some things and we're just like you know what i can taste that coming through so um sometimes it just takes a while and for you to try it and to get used to a flavor for you for your, your mind to think what's going on I mean, so we're going from saffron white chocolate to a pesto. That's bar, true. So. We are bouncing around here, so it's messing with our taste buds. So I'm not going to give up on those pesto because your tongue, I don't know. because um it might change. But right now it's uh no, you are fine. <laughs> More people can comment if they'd like to. Feel free to say something. Get involved. Come on, we got like 80 subscribers. Where y'all at? Yeah, exactly. You know what? That's what's next. This is pizza flavored corn snacks. All right. If they're, come on. I like these. Pizza so it is what it is. I'm not going to read anything. I mean, it's Italy pizza and it's flavored. pizza. Combos, pizza, pizza flavored. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening. I mean, has Doritos made pizza? Show them what it looks like. They look a bit more um gl glossier than I thought they'd be. All right. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm working on that. I really am. I mean, like, I had, like, business cards. I got business cards. I have magnets that I'm giving out to some friends. And I'm also hoping to kind of make, like, a magnet, like, logo to give out, like, as a prize because... I like to do something with my shout outs. I'd actually like to start sending some things out to people um, with my shout outs and mail them something. So, okay, let me eat this. Mmm. It's good. It's pizza like. Yeah, it definitely tastes like pizza. It's the pizza. Like pizza. Mm. I mean, if it was a blindfold test, you'd definitely be like, that's pizza. Um. Mmm. Mmm. Speaking of pizza, if you're ever in Zephyr Hills, Florida, mm -hmm. Nico's. Okay, um. Pizza flavored things. If you ever have like pizza flavored chips, pizza flavored. I know Pringles has these pizza flavored sticks. Those are really good. That's what it tastes like. You got, um, like your Italian cheese flavors. Um. We're gonna put stuff over here. Really or if you ever go to Adlock, North Carolina, and try out the Big Apple. Um, that gets a ten for me. That gets a ten. Okay, yeah. The taste like the, the pizza combos, exactly. That pizza flavor that you get. Um, the combo might be. A that's what it tastes though, like. But it's definitely pizza. Yeah, it's good. the The texture is um almost funyun like. But they're thicker than Funyuns, so they're not as crisp. I like them. I like them. 
I kind of just smashed like 80 in front of you guys. You'll have to excuse me, but... You almost like taste I'm so fun. excited! Um, chocolate and some nut cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. There. Okay. You know, I had some fun, interesting ways the world has messed around with hazelnut. Like Nutella. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be healthy. As as food, right? They smell so good. Piece to snap, or do you like the nice, soft, soft, soft baby. ooey, gooey, mooey? Chewy, dewy, Huey and Louie. Okay. Yeah, how do you like your cookies? Do you like them hard or do you like them nice and soft? Guess what team I am? Nice and soft cookies. They're suitable for me. Hey! So. He's just taking off without me. They smell. I don't know. They smell like cereal. What flavor do you get? Like, I'm gonna get like a fruity snack. Mm. Mm. Well, because of the hazelnut, you know how the um almond. It says you want to dunk these because they are they're not as dry as biscotti, but they're um that table's eating good over there. It's good. There's almond pieces in it. Hazelnut, I mean. See that there? Not bad. It's okay. I'll give them like maybe a six. I mean, I don't know. Well, we'll try with coffee. It's supposed to be better with coffee. I'm gonna have to start looking through this bot, this this um a little bit better before I do these videos. Yeah, so if we're supposed box. to have like, I know last month's box we had these drink packets. Have any of you guys tried those in your boxes? The little fizzy drink packets. If I'd have known that how much water I needed and stuff ahead of time, I could have done it as part of my video. But I gotta be more prepared. But don't worry, I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Give it a score. Chocolate hazelnut cookies. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. I really like them. Um, I give them an eight. I think I think they were pretty good. I'm not big on chocolate things like that, like chocolate cookies, chocolate cake, but um, sweet. But the hazelnut, it did. It, it feels like there's a fruit in there, I but that's what I'm getting. Like everything says suitable for vegetarians. Ooh, okay. This one's a little interesting. We're doing the Tocelletti. Tocetti. Oh, olives. see, okay. I like olives. Show them. What does it look like? Sunflower oil, pitted olives. And it's okay for vegans. So. Yeah. Universal Young gives you a heads up on if you have any um, any allergies such as milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, blah, blah. You know, there's more. But these probably oil. contain it, so be careful if you have allergies. You want to check which products have what. So what does it look like? Let them see. So the texture is pretty cool. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Ridges on it. They look like um deformed Captain Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it goes. The dog gets it. Come get it. Bo. At least it's like that. Bo, Bo come get it. Bo. She's so sleep. Come eat. They're not as crunchy as I was hoping. They, they, they're like very familiar. Cracker light, but they're good. Um, 
Why are the olives? I'm not getting, getting olive. No, I'm not getting pie. Not getting olive. I think I eat the whole bag, you know, I get a handful. I'm sorry. Not now, I'm not getting any olive. No. I'll take this over here. No olive. No. Sorry, Popeye, no olive. Um, I do like olives, though. Please, my mom always puts olives in her Spanish rice, and I love that. So when it was an Italian salad, and it had... Two different kinds of olives in it, and it was the best salad. It was so good. I actually eat salads weird. I pick them out. I really like go through it. I never just sit down and eat a salad. I eat my food. Like I have a show or something playing in front of her, but she'll watch me eat my salad, pick through it, pick what she I'm gonna do. Corn. So yeah, maybe, maybe I'll make yellow. a video and you guys can straight green put me in my place but um but for right now we're moving on because i'm excited to get to this yum bag and we're almost there because they changed the way that the yum bag look and i like the changes universal yums is making next we have same country i'm sorry from the same is it from the same company orange carrot it is not from the same company as the tiramisu tiramisu i think no freddy yeah. tiramisu all right no, it's not. The other one is um, no, Noretta. Moretta. But Freddy. Still from Freddy. Oh. So maybe Moretta is a type of tiramisu or region of tiramisu. I don't know. I don't know. But all um, Freddy. It says there are two types of carrot cake. The first is loaded with spices, nuts, raisins, and raisins. Uh, yeah, those are good. With some sweet cream cheese frosting. So soft. Cream so cheese soft. frosting. But then there's an Italian style carrot cake. So check it out. Italians believe carrot cake should hide. Oh, oh, it's wrong. It is. Um, so they get rid of the bells and whistles and incorporate just a touch of orange juice. Ooh, I like orange juice. Fresh flavored carrots makes this no frills cake the ultimate breakfast staple in Italy. This well, awesome. I do, I do like cake for this breakfast. This is awesome. It's orange juice infused. It's mm. great. Oh, it's refreshing. It is so good. Mmm. Oh, it's like tiramisu. Don't have coffee. They just soak in orange. Man, juice. out of that whole thing, I only got that little piece. Mmm. I see how we doing. It was really good. Um, but you liked it. Yeah. That's pretty shocking because he hasn't liked orange orange things in the past boxes. Like I love the chocolate covered orange peels and the chocolate covered like the orange like jelly orange candies jelly, and yeah. things. Wow. And he didn't like those. So I'm pretty surprised. But see, Universal Yums, you know, you get some things where he would be like, I don't like orange things like that. Like But it's not it's really like orange, orange juice. <laughs> but the cake's not um has this way. All right, our Italy sign fell. We're getting empty. Oh a yes, I'm sorry. This is tomato and basil potato chips. We have had a lot of paprika chips and different forms of paprika chips, different textures. Yeah, I'm just surprised. Always had like a deviled egg paprika flavor type thing. I don't think egg would be good in chip. Um, really smell anything crazy. No, they just smell like chips, and they really just look like cheddar chips. Look at that. So, besides Brazil, what other um, box do you like, Bad Company? Boom. Got the basil. You gotta give it a minute. Yeah. Waiting for tomato. And Bo is waiting for something else to fall. <laughs> I must have made mm. it so easy to get to the drink. I'm sorry, I'm not getting the tomato. 
All right, give him a minute. He's thinking. <laughs> um, no, they're really savory. They're good. Um, the basil comes in really good and strong. Um, I give it a seven. But I'm just not getting tomato. They're good chips. No joke. They're like, crisp. I kind of feel like, yeah, they're, you know, they're chips. But in America, it's like getting chips from the Dollar Tree or something. <laughs> like, so they taste cheap to you. Yeah. Like, if you didn't say these were prosciutto or prosciutto. Prosciutto chips, I would just be like. Now, you remember the bruschetta's got the um, tomatoes. It's like the little toast pieces we just ate. I'm like, so... What was it? Dollar at some corner store? Oh, shit. Uh, some bodega. We're gonna move on. If I get tomato later on while I'm eating it, I'll let you know in my next box or something. But bottom, so we have this box, and then we have our yums bag, and then we're done with the box. So um, sad times, but we're really happy to try it. So go on and let them see the box. See, it's still another thing I like about Universal Yums is that you know you get good size. Um, product. All right. They're all this is an almond biscotti. Is. But it's called something else. It's not called biscotti oh, in, in Italy. Remember Spain was a good box. Like Taiwan too. Taiwan wasn't too Spain bad. was good. Oh. Of course, when the package is airtight. There's not going to be much in there. Yeah. Enjoy your three, but I was right. Yay! Twice baked. Biscotti baked twice. Oh, look at that. Once to cook the dough oh, and again to remove any moisture. Man. Cookies dry, brittle texture allows them to last for extended yeah. periods because that's what the Roman soldiers ate. Now we've had biscotti before, um, because we like we like to have it with a uh, with some coffee. We started that about maybe two, three years ago. It's crazy to think the Roman. We've had like <laughs> chocolate covered. What are some of the flavors that we had? Uh, biscotti. Yeah, those bisc biscottis we used to get. Like. Oh. Definitely something with chocolate and almonds or some kind of. Nuts. Then they had this one that had like raisins or cranberries or something in it. Mmm. Okay. These have a very good flavor. Once you get past the crunch. Mm. Can you imagine the Romans running around? Yeah, we just defeated some Persians and... Well, no, that's probably the wrong time here. Some Greeks and they just smash them on his. Um. Yeah, it doesn't say that. But anyways, um... What? This says that, um... The wrong thing that you Yes, but oh. you don't... Okay, anyways, um... I guess it's really the sweet. It's got sugar in it, but the sweetness that we're tasting is from the almond. Hmm. Even I You're going to want to dip that in something. I'm busting my teeth up. Wow. You're going to want to dip that in something. Don't try to eat that whole bag. I don't know if the Romans had milk. Maybe they just dipped this straight in their wine. They don't say. All right. You want some? Yeah. All right. Let's move on, you guys. We're down to the last thing now. I'd like to show you this. Because I was pretty excited when I saw it in somebody else's video. They changed the look of the Yum's bag. Look at that. And there's the back side, or perhaps it's the front. No, it's the back side. Um, before, if you remember, it was a clear bag and it had like blue squiggles and it said Yum bag. This one looks like a party face. Good thing come in small lot. packages. We're searching. Okay, not going to read that. We're just gonna get in here. No, it's not. It's not see through. Look at that. 
Um. That is a lot of stuff, you guys. That is a lot of stuff. Um, you can make it rain. <laughs> there we go. All right. So one more look at the others. There's just so many changes that the, the Universal Yums has done for the best. And um, like I like their decision about less hard candies on every every box. Mine so far is the Philippines. I love the Philippines. That is definitely when I that's my go to. I love the Philippines. It was so good. Another one was for me. But every box has had things that I've really liked. There hasn't been one box where I've just been like, we wasted our money because I didn't like any. But yeah, there were some things in the box that I didn't like. Some things have licorice. What, what, oh, Netherlands. The Netherlands had a lot of licorice in it. Yeah. And um, so there were some things that one some place had tea flavored things. We've had some mushroom flavored things. And those are my, you know, my preference. But, um, man, there's a lot of things in there. Oh, the poor thing that I think they have melted. Um, <laughs> oh, no, what that? I think they're supposed to be like that. Triangle. Well, triangle, but that's not. No. <laughs> I got punched. Hulk smashed. <laughs> let's, um, let's do these fizzy candies. They have two flavors, I think. Lemon and orange. Lemon and orange. Lem lemon and orange. Orange lemon and orange. Lem lemon and orange. Orange. Which, which one, you one you want? Which one you want? Well, you you want? want which one orange. you want? No, let's just. Oh, those are hard candies. Yeah. You wanna have a go? It ain't fizzy, so I don't know. Give it a minute. Give it a minute, give it a minute, give it a minute. Let me see where it says, um. I can feel it. Hold on. Is it good and orangey? Is it like fake yeah. orangey? Or is it like orange, orange juice, orangey? Um. Kind of like, I guess like an orange lifesaver. Okay, orange lifesaver, a fizzy orange lifesaver. I'm gonna try the orange. Uh, I'm gonna try the lemon. She eats lemons like oranges, so so just take the whole thing, peel it open. And just... I don't know if you can see it. Even has a some lime, lime you're supposed to sit there and eat a lime, and you're supposed to just squeeze in your margarita. Then. This is like lemonade. It tastes like lemonade. And I love lemonade. I have to say. I Ooh! Like, Ooh! Won't ever forget the corn flavored hard candy. <laughs> I got the fizz. Like when you're sucking on a warhead. Sour? Yes. yes. But it's fizzing. Fizzing texture. You don't want to keep it there because it feels very intense. Like it's very really weird. I want to eat this, but I'm gonna save it. Yeah. Um, I don't like very many of the hard candies, but those were good hard candies. I'm gonna eat that later. That was good. Um, yeah, that gets a ten for me, and I'm pretty surprised that I like that. See, I'm not really into the hard candies, but. Yeah, see? Fun trying new things. Don't be closed minded. If you know, if you know, well, except for, you know, with my mushroom thing. I'm not trying mushrooms, but, you know, don't be closed minded. Just try it. Um, let's move on. We have chocolate hazel, hazelnut chocolate. Those are those rectangle things, or the triangle things that got disformed, discombobulated. There we go. Nice packaging. They're foil, feels expensive. If it's, it's like those ice creams that come wrapped in foil. Ooh. I don't remember what the brand is, but. Ooh. Ooh. It's soft and chewy like the cooling chocolate. Cooling chocolate from um, Germany. Yeah. 
It's so good. It just melts right in your mouth. It's almost like it disappears. Right? Mm. I mean, look at that. You just, within like two seconds, it just it doesn't melt, it dissolves in your hand. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, it says, is it? Oh, it's asking, is it shaped like an upturned boat? It is a weird shape, but it's a good taste. So weird taste or weird shape, good taste. That'll get a 10 for me. I think it was really good. And um, the chocolate's really good quality. You guys, the chocolate in this box is good quality chocolate. Smooth, no grain. You know how he said the oh, chips good. tasted like they were from a corner store? Well, these 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 chocolates are really good. Yeah, Garn Deli might have to... Oh, okay. We can split this one. <clears throat> this is a cappuccino cream. Ooh, and cereal truffles. But not the truffle like mushroom truffle. Chocolate. Chocolate truffle. Show them what it looks oh, like. Oh. It's melted. melted. So, there might be one that we can throw in the freezer or something. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Now that's coffee or a cappuccino. Mm. That's a coffee taste, cappuccino. That's awesome. Is that like crispy rice pieces? It's like they made the chocolate out of cappuccino. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Mmm. 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 It's better mm. than those gold wrapper mm. chocolates at the gas station. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take the biscotti and I'm going to dip it in one of those melted chocolates. Okay. That gets a 10. Yeah. You like cappuccino? You got to try that. You got to try that because um, <clears throat> that is amazing taste. And the taste of the little puff rice crispy pieces there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten. You guys, we're almost done. Oh, we have two more things to do. But I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And, um... It's super empty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so, um... <laughs> let's, um, let's get in here. Um, next. Chocolate-covered candies with assorted fillings. Wow. Um... I'll try this. I don't know if it's a... Yeah. Okay, that looks like it's got a blueberry. Mm. That looks like maybe a cherry. Let me see if it tells me what the flavors are. So I'm not really sure what all these flavors are. Oh, snap. Billberry again. Billberry. Ap apricot. Orange. And chestnut. I might like the chestnut. Let's split chestnut. Let's give it a try. So if you look at the... Sometimes the picture's a little weird, but at the top it tells you the flavor. So I kept saying, look at the top, look at the top. Oh, it even tells you here on the flavors in your box. Dark chocolate chestnut, dark chocolate bilberry, milk chocolate orange, milk chocolate apricot. apricot. A nice little milk dud of flavor or something. Oh, careful. Show them what it looks like from the inside. Is it soft filling? I don't know. 
Oh, well, it's soft, but like, I don't know about the flavor. I'm not a fan of that white mint stuff. I don't know what that is. It's like eating chocolate. Chocolate's in a candy box. Yeah, it's supposed to have like a a cherry in it or something. Okay. You know when you eat a Ike and Mike and you get that gritty flavor? It's um, gritty. That would be the <laughs> um the chestnut though. The okay. chestnut filling's in the middle. And it's just covered in chocolate. Yeah, maybe. I give it an I give it an eight or a nine. The chocolate was really sweet again, but it yeah. was really good and I'm excited yeah, to try some different flavors. I don't like that mincy white stuff. This one I'm going to love. Save the best for last. Woo -woo! Truffles with amaretto cream. I love amaretto. Do the honor. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, take these things on. Of course, everything is melted. And yeah, it's probably... It's not as pretty <laughs> as this should be. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. Alright, there's... Oh, I can smell the filling. We're just going to eat this really quick. Sorry, you guys. Mmm. The armoretto taste. So strong. Oh, yeah. Liquidy fudge inside. The amaretto and cheese chocolate. Mmm. That's so good. You like the almond, the marzipan, amaretto? With chocolate? Come on. Who like that? Really? Really good. So, that was everything, you guys. That was the whole Yum's box. This, well, super Yum's box. And, um, you know, we're really excited with the journey that we've been on with Universal Yums. And we're gonna keep going because they have so many countries. I mean, it's been two years since they visited Italy. Two years. Two years. So, and the tiramisu is different. The UK, that was a lot of chips. You guys, don't forget you can go check out these videos. I have them all posted on my YouTube channel and I have so many more coming your way. I've even done some other boxes too, but we're not gonna talk about them on the Universal Yums. Yeah. But um, before we go, um, another thing to comment in the comment section. Here's the hint for next month. And um, let me see if you guys can figure it out. Because I always try and guess, but I always try and look it up too. It's buffering. Okay. We'll try and, we'll try and wrap this up. Here's the hint. Hmm. Next month we'll visit a place that is old. And crafty, creative, and so very cold. If you're hungry, just read. Okay, yeah, it's acted it up. Um, but all right, I hope. Thank you for watching. So much fun. And awesome. it was our young anniversary. So awesome yeah, yeah. Happy Look at all of that. So great. So thank you, everybody. Love you all. Keep commenting. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Keep and find us on, on Facebook. Keep snacking. Because I have behind the scenes stuff there too. So, love you guys. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>